guys, Mom Vernon Care back again, once again. Mom Vernon Care, yeah, bam. Uh, <laughs> so how's everybody doing there? Hope you're gearing up for the holidays and spend the time with your loved ones, things like that, no matter what. You always feel giving and loved and things like that. I hope that I'm, blessings upon all of you. Uh, but I'm here today because I have finally, I finally found the time to sit down and watch um, Justice League Action. The special that came on last Saturday, I believe. Thank you, DVR. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Uh, but anyway, so I'm here to kind of give my thoughts on my quick thoughts, or so to speak, and did I enjoy it? So basically, this special was a combination of the first four episodes of the show. I believe the first season will run uh, 52 episodes. Now, to all the... UK viewers, and I do have a few UK subscribers, you lodge, you got to see it already. You got to see these episodes already since November, I believe. Um, okay, cut it down. But, um, very much enjoyed this show. I did enjoy it. It, it had a very Batman Brave and the Bold vibe. Um, didn't, you could see that it Despite, you know, um, minor, minor nitpicks I had with the show, um, probably for me was kind of Wonder Woman. Uh, there are times I was like, she's not thinking straight all the time. It was almost like, there were times I was like, you know, Diana's coming off too, like, I gotta punch something or I'm not feeling happy. You know, or something like that. I was just really like, I don't like that. Um, Superman was portrayed very well. You know, I thought they portrayed him very well. The only thing that would have made that even a, um, a home run for me is if Tim Daly was doing the voice. Love that Batman. Kevin Conroy is doing Batman's voice. That's great. Um, but I love how the, sh the, it, the, the special went from like one story and it accommodated into the next story. It folded very well into a chapter, which I enjoyed. You know, started out with Batman and the Wizard Shazam, which was cool. And I liked how Shazam kind of came off almost like a, you know, an old Kraken at times. Like, you know, I don't need your help, you know. Um, and then it moved from there. I was surprised they already, they've already acknowledged that Billy was already Captain Marvel. I swear, I told you before, I will not call him by that name. So... It was really cool to see that, and you know the the main villain of it was basically Black Adam, um, and over time you saw the consequences of what Black Adam had did in that first episode and led into the next episode and into the next episode, which I enjoyed. You know, um, seeing, you know, it felt more, you know, the team dealing with a magical threat and trying to catch these jinn um, that were terrorizing. Uh, the people uh, seeing people like Jimmy Olsen you know looks classic um, seeing seeing uh, characters that I was shocked to see but I was glad to see like John Constantine was in this and I, I was like I was like whoa he's in this wow you know and it was great I was I was really happy to see him you know um, as I said before you know the character portrayals were pretty spot on. Like I said, my only nitpick was Wonder Woman's at times. I just felt like she came off too, like she, I gotta hit something. I gotta hit something. Like, you know, it's just, she was always on edge to like hit something. Uh, Green Hour was cool and you know, I, I figured there would be some kind of, I don't know if a camaraderie or more of a like a, a somewhat rivalry between him and Batman. Um, Plastic Man was fine. Swamp, good to see Swamp Thing. Yes, good to see Swamp Thing. Jean, I was a little, I did not like his design. I was like, he's too damn skinny. I was like, uh, they could have beefed him up a little bit. I was like, uh, he, he looks too damn skinny. He looked like E.T. He really did. I was like, uh, but I like that he was trying to work on humor. I like how they dealt with the first gen who had Parasite in him, and uh, I thought that was really interesting how they were able to defeat him. The next gen, which was able to, which took over Batman's body, was fun. 
Um, and then the, the brothers, the three brothers were interesting as well. And then you finally saw the combination of, of um, Black Adam returning and, you know, the plan that they came up with was hilarious. Plastic Man is just, was c c funny as hell. You know, he got used to wearing Wonder, Wonder Woman's, uh, Wonder Woman's clothing, which was funny. And I like Batman's was, it was, a, he, he didn't go with the plan. You know, you figure Bruce wouldn't do that. But it was cool to see them, the combination of how they, the, sh the show, the special kind of went from point A to point B, point C to point D in such a good strive that it just made me like, okay, I'm ready for this. I'm, I'm ready for when this show, when the next episode airs. I don't know when the next episode is airing in the States, but I know, I believe season episode five already aired. Like I said, in the UK, they've already been going. They've already been putting them out already. Um, so you people in the UK, you got it early. So good, good on you. Um, and we got to see Cyborg in there and, and still played by the same actor who, uh, voiced him from Teen Titans, uh, the Hall of Justice, well, there's a new, uh, Justice League <laughs> Tower, which was cool. We got to see Green Lantern a little bit, I've see, seen him at the end, uh, but overall, guys, I did enjoy this, I did, um, it was fun, um, just, just fun. Can't take it too serious, but, you know, like I said, guys, minor nitpicks for me that just will go over my head after after time, you know, because it kind of did. After a while, you know, I was just like, okay, this is just how Wonder Woman is, so I, I have to deal with that. Uh, did I miss anybody? Booster. Yeah, Booster. I did miss Booster. Uh, what a bumbling fool he is in this, but still funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, good, good show. Uh, good on you. Uh, voicing was great. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing other heroes pop up, you know, uh, besides just the usual, but you know, I'm looking forward to seeing others. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that's it, guys. That's, that's, that's all I got to say. Uh, so uh, if I was to give a ranking or a, a rank for uh, Just League Action Special or the, the first four episodes, uh... I'll rank this four out of five House of L emeralds, em em emblems. There, there you go. Uh, I, I thought it was good. I enjoyed it very much. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing where this series goes. And uh, I am interested in seeing how long each episode is. So if anybody else, any UK subscriber out there, at least tell me how long the episode Are they 30 minutes or are they shorter than that? Because... I have a problem with, I have, I don't like when they're too short. Are they as short as maybe, I'm hoping they're not like, uh, they're not as long, they're longer than a regular show episode. Please be longer than a regular show episode. Because I wasn't really timing how long each episode was with the special. But other than that, guys, this is Mount Vernon Kid saying peace and love, stay tuned. Keep it real. Thank you for subscribing. Hit that like button. Uh, give your comments in the section below. Uh, happy holidays, as always. Continue to subscribe, and I'll keep and I will continue to entertain you at the best of my knowledge as I can. I'm out of here. Cheers, me darlings.